Hello everyone, this is Banyan back in the lab. Today we are not going to talk about it, about this old thing here. Um, so I found out that there's two kind of cell. This is what, what I've built here uh, recently. It's a wet cell because this four cell are inside the water. But I've heard um, by doing some research on YouTube that dry cell uh, are more efficient. So I've decided to put this on the shelf and build this here. Um, so this so far is my setting. We're gonna go further after I did the, after I will have done some uh, uh, tanks uh, to Mr. Z from Zero Fossil Fuel, which is my mentor in the, in, in the domain uh, of wet cell, as well as uh, Mr. Uh, Smart Scarecrow uh, on YouTube, uh, which is my mentor in the domain of the dry cell. Um, and I would like to say thank you to the EBN uh, design team uh, that I believe to be lead by uh, Monsieur, Mr. Smart Scarecrow uh, for their effort to put this technology available to everybody on YouTube. So the, 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 the setup that I have here, it's a 13 plate stainless steel 316, um, six inch by six inch that I've built uh, with um, uh, stainless steel 316 foil. Um, I wanna say that uh, the foil, uh, stainless steel foil, um, it's really, really tricky and difficult to work with, but it's cheap and uh, it's easy to cut within a simple exacto. So you can see, this is what I use to cut my stainless steel. And um, it's cheap, it's pretty cheap. It's about um, less than $10 per square, f square foot. If you do some researches on, a, on the internet, um, you will find out that it's pretty cheap. The thickness of the plates are 0 0.002 uh, millium of an inch. So it's pretty thin. So it's really tricky to work with. As I said, uh, I had to place a lot of spacer into the cell between the plate to make sure they, they don't short together um, when they, uh, they get this form deformed uh, by the heat and the cold. You know, the expansion of the steel uh, versus the expansion of the, the plexiglass outside uh, make uh, the cell deform uh, as I showed uh, earlier in, in, in the other video. Um, so the way, um, okay, so what I've got here, it's my sitting. I'm, am oh, I want to say that I'm, I am amazingly surprised by, um, the stability of the system. So what I've got here, it's a three meter, uh, timer in this device here. So I've run. And, and then my power supply here give me three settings. Uh, we've talked about that before, I believe, on my other video. So when I start the device, to make sure the plate don't short because the plate are not completely flat, I will show it uh, in, in the next video uh, when the cell will be cold. We, you can see through this that the, the, the cell shrink, um, not shrink, but kink inside because of the plexiglass have more uh, experience uh, uh, have a better ability to expand and re and uh, stretch uh, with the heat and cold than the, the, the stainless steel itself. So um, I r to make sure it doesn't short uh, when it's all kink, um, I run it in a very low voltage, which will be, um, as you can, I don't know if you can see here, it, it says two amp. My camera doesn't want to zoom, uh, focus, I mean, on that. But it says two hemp, so I started like that for about an hour and ten minutes. So it gave me 11.5 volt, and it gave 8.4 amp um, to, to the to the, the cell. Uh, so I ran it for about an hour and ten minutes. After that, I switched to the 10 amp position here. And this is have been this have been running for about an hour, a uh, two hour th thirty two minute, and it keep running on this position uh, since all this time. Um, 
between those two hour and a half, I stop for five minutes on the third position, which is engine start, which give up to 55 amp. It, so it gives me 13.6 volt. And right now I'm, I'm running at 19.5 uh, amp. But the problem with that, and it's really productive, uh, uh, really good production. When I'm run like that, I do a liter, more than a liter per minute. Uh, but the problem with that is that my connection here heat up too much. My wire and all that here, and the plastic had started to melt as well here. Um, so it's not too good, not more than five minutes on this position. So I'm gonna put it back on normal. It says on the top here, it says normal. And then I'm at, I am at 10 amp, but it's still giving me 12 amp on this device. And so 12.3. So for two hour and a half, those numbers here, volt and amp, haven't changed at all. So I'm really surprised with the stability of the system. And then in the other video, we're gonna make a, a little, um, a, a little um, a test to see how many. So the production have not changed as well. And since two hour and a half, I lost about a inch and a half of water, which is really uh, interesting, you know. I've heard on internet that with one gallon of water, we can produce 1800 uh, gallon of gas. So it's one for 1800 uh, it's huge um, so I just wanted to mention it so this is it for this uh, introduced introduction of uh, my dry cell and in the next video uh, I'm gonna show the product uh, we're gonna show some numbers to see how, how much gas it produce so uh, stay tuned uh, Banyan signing out